name's Nick and what's in the box? So what this is, this video is going to be my unboxing and review of a uh, game capture card that I purchased off a website called Deal Extreme um, or DX.com, kind of like a really upset looking emoticon. Um, so I ordered this just after Christmas. It's the 6th of January now and it's arrived today. Um, so I'm going to open, this is how it arrived from China, from Deal Extreme. I'm going to open the box and I'm going to show you exactly what I've purchased. But I'll tell you what it is now. It is the EasyCap 284 Game Capture or HD Capture device. So, first of all we need to open this. And what better tool than a rusty broken craft knife. And we get the box. I love that box noise. There's something about the noise that a box makes. So this is what it looks like when it arrives. HD video capture. Please do not record copyrighted material. Yeah, right. Standalone capture USB disk. No PC required. One key capture. Easy to use. 1080p HD video capture with editing software. Share on YouTube. Oh, I might just do that. Um, so. What this is, is basically um, a device that you can plug in, it's a in-between from your game console and your TV, and it records any video that you're streaming through that. I've actually purchased one of these before. So I purchased the EasyCap 280 HD video capture card sometime last year, and it broke down on me, and it took me a while to figure out that it had broken down, um, but when I'd worked that out, I contacted Deal Extreme. I told them that it wasn't capturing as the way it should, um, and under the warranty of the product, they swapped it out. So I'd had it for about um, seven or eight months before it broke down, um, and they were really good about it. So they instructed me to send back my old device, which um, I think cost me about 60 US dollars. Um, uh, 59.99 was the old device's cost, down from 89.99, and it was a great device. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll see that it's captured. Yeah, you know, really good quality footage. This one here has cost me um, because they they credited me back the original amount, so I only had to pay the difference. But this one was a US sixty six dollars twenty, um, and these are all discounted as well. So this is discounted from sixty nine dollars ninety nine as a standard price, which it has been for forever as well. Um, and the other one um, discounted from $89.99 so um, I don't know if that's just a way of selling their product and moving it faster the 280 does seem to be the more popular one I really struggled to find any videos about this on YouTube before I bought it um, which has spurred me to make this video of the unboxing and the review so that's why you're watching so let's get down to business So this is pretty much it, um, nicely sealed, it's got the model number and serial at the bottom um, and on the top it's got basically what it does. No real obvious branding, EasyCap's a pretty low key, um, cheap option for game capture, obviously suits me fine. Um, and then here you've got all of your things, uh, so you've got the HDMI out which goes to your monitor or your TV and you've got the HDMI in which comes from the console or computer PC that you're wanting to capture um, you've also got an AV in here as well for a slightly different I'll, I'll show you the cables in a moment um, you've got line out for audio so you can plug in the headset and listen with a headset and it's got mic as well which means that you can record audio and put it into your video seems like a really good idea to have a mic to capture your audio um, as well as have uh, at the same time as recording the gameplay however this only works when you're using the AV in and not the HDMI in I don't know why they did this um, it's a really dumb idea in my opinion um, but it doesn't work so for me I need to capture all of my video directly on this and record any audio I do separately and sync it up later which can be a bit challenging um, on the front it has a little IR symbol there, so it's infrared, it has a remote, which the other, the um, 280 did not have. This has a remote, which is part of the appeal for me, and it was only, I think, an extra six or seven US dollars to purchase it. So, fairly small device, will easily sit somewhere on, on a desk, um, 
or wherever I'm capturing and it's, it has a remote control um, functionality which means that I don't even have to get up anymore to push the record button. Uh, on this side you have the power switch so this it says PC power um, it's basically I'll show you that in a moment but that's how it receives its power to the unit on the other side it has the host USB or SD card slots which means you can put in a, a USB stick or an SD card into these slots and that's what the video actually goes on to. Cool so let's see what else is in the box nothing else no it's in here so there's a box within a box and it's not without its epic box sounds all right so in here we have a bunch of cables so the first one is the AVN um, with your green blue and those are the audio green blue red and or yellow which means that you can plug this into an old Nintendo 64 or PlayStation 1 or if you've got component cables on your game device you can plug it into them and you can also plug in the audio left and right speaker uh, and then that all goes into the device and this is the cable that's really annoying this is the cable that works with a microphone next up to that in a moment We have a USB cable, so it is it is a USB A, I think, male to a mini USB. Correct me if I'm wrong, and it comes with a nice cable tie. So that is what powers, and this is why there was so much appeal for me um, in using this. That goes into here. Does it? Yes. It looks a little wrong, um, and then this can go into a PC. Or we can go into a wall outlet, which is why I have this. This came with it, and this is obviously the adapter for the USB to go into a DC wall plug, and it also has a light to show that it's powered. Um, the old model, the 280, did not have this. It had a standard model plug, um, which I had to get a adapter for an American plug type, um, so I could actually use it. However because we live in the year 2017 I can now get this with a New Zealand plug and I can plug it in and use it myself so this is, has a great appeal to me I don't have to take up time with extra little bits and pieces that's just straight into the wall and it's working or I can plug it into my laptop or I can plug it into the Wii U USB slot and it works um, next you have a user manual which nobody will read I might actually Go through that and it comes with the disc with the editing software which is called ArcSoft and it has a product key which you are more than welcome to steal or use if you are editing video because I use Adobe Premiere Pro um, so not going to be using that um, my understanding of that software is it's pretty good but not the best so um, the other cool thing about this is apparently this can stream online. Um, I don't know too much about doing that myself. I'm I'm still new. I'm in, I'm new to YouTube, um, but from what I've seen of streams of other gamers online, um, basically they just play video games and have people donate or throw a whole lot of money at them. <laughs> and at the end of the day, who wants that, right? Um, I myself, I I make my money from a salary from sitting behind a desk and. I play video games in my spare time at home rather than doing important stuff like um, you know, sending aid to Aleppo or protesting towards or against the TPPA uh, and things like that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm basically a desk worker, a perfect example of a drone worker for this precursor Orwellian society that our global corporate elites are creating for us and I'm quite happy about that as you can tell. Uh, but enough about that, so this, really excited about setting this up. In all of my excitement, I actually forgot about the main feature I was really, really excited about, and that was the remote. So <laughs> I freaked out and thought that they hadn't actually sent me one, but they have. And here it is. So it's fairly simple. It's got a fun little shiny thing to rip off. Uh, so it's got record stop. It's got the option to change between 720p and 8, uh, 1080p. Sorry. Um, it's got the which input to take as well as CVBS, um, which I'm assuming 
means um, the streaming option which I mentioned earlier and the option to take a snapshot as well. So that was the unboxing. I'm now going to move on to my lasting impressions of the device. Um, so I'll start this with what you ought to know and you'll get the pros and cons from that. When you first plug in the unit you get a blue light to show that it's powered and you get a green flashing light that indicates that it recognizes there's an HDMI input working. Um, I haven't tested out the yellow blue green lights but I'm guessing something similar happens there. The light then turns to a solid green when the input source is activated. However it does need an output source to actually record which is a little bit off-putting. When it records a red solid light comes on even if the output device is not actually on uh, and when this scenario happens it's not actually recording any video but the red light comes on which is very frustrating. It also won't record if your device has a huge memory. So any Xbox 360 users will know what I mean when you can't use a flash drive with a memory greater than 16 gigabytes, um, which was always really annoying for me. So I've thoroughly tested this out, and it works up to 32 gigabytes, which isn't bad. Although there's no mention of this limitation on the specifications on DX's site, it also has a max file size. This is per recording and it's 2 gigabytes. This means that capturing a video at 1080p you can roughly get about 10 to 15 minutes of footage, raw footage, um, that you can then edit later. This limitation is mentioned in the specs on the sales page, um, but you want to get really good at timing this at 10 minutes because if you go over the device doesn't process one file and start a new capture, it actually just drops everything. And when it does this, the red light stays on. So there's no indication that you've actually lost anything. The red light also comes on again if you happen to be using a flash drive or SD card that is over 32 gigabytes as well, so it's quite deceptive. The reason this bothers me is because the EasyCap 280, which I had before, did not have this issue. It would record on a 64 gigabyte stick just fine, and it would finalize one clip and initiate another in a single recording session. It meant that you did get a few dropped frames in editing, but other than that, you could just immerse yourself in the game and not have to worry about it. So the trade-off is, with this new device, for all the monitoring that I now have to do, I do get the added benefits of having a remote, so I can select record when I'm sitting on the couch um, quite easily. You also get an SD card slot and a USB powered unit. Both of these are features that I do really love. I didn't realize how good it was using an SD card slot rather than a USB stick um, because it goes straight into my laptop which is more beneficial for me. And this whole unit comes at a slightly higher cost than the EasyCap 280 which is a little more basic looking, um, a bit more friendlier and less likely to lose your footage once you get immersed in a game such as Breath of the Wild. Um, so I'm not looking forward to having to pay very close attention to everything that's going on once I start recording on that game. So those are my impressions of the device, take from it what you will. Uh, if I had to do everything over again, my personal preference would probably be to go for the slightly cheaper 280 and uh, just have the comfort of being able to be secure in the knowledge that I don't have to oversee the whole recording and timing of everything uh, and also because I'll easily be able to sync up the audio and the video later with having one, um, one continuity rather than having to stop and start one device while recording on another device. Um, on another timeline and having to sync that all up later, uh, which will become frustrating. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, please feel free to subscribe. I've got other videos like this coming up uh, for a project that I've required, um, which I will review once I get it working. Um, I've been Nick, you've been a great captive audience if you're still with me this far, and I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.